hello babies welcome to my channel this is a junior reading so we're gonna hop right into it i already say you the cards and shuffled over the decks as well um if you're new babies i hope that you join and stay i really appreciate you guys um don't forget to like comment down below and subscribe hit that notification bell if you're a returning subscriber welcome back love thank you so much for being here and having me i really appreciate you all i um, continue to comment down below because i do try to go and read all your comments we're gonna hop right into it um so what i was picking up with some of you guys there was someone but i don't know if there's one that y'all dating or if this is an ex or somebody from the past, I don't know what y'all got going on. But there is someone that is not monogamous. This is someone where they get in monogamous relationships with people. And then this person can even tend to cheat. Or this is some so there is someone that is polyamorous where there could be someone that wants two wives or they want two husbands or whatever. Or this is someone where they want to be in an open relationship. So there is someone that's not monogamous, but they get in situations with monogamous people um this is what i'm getting here as well also i'm also getting this energy where this can be someone that i'm getting i'm reading from both both ways okay for some of you guys if this is someone where they want to be in an open relationship or something like this or anything like that this is someone where they want to be in an open relationship they get in monogamous relationships with monogamous this is someone that does not want to this this is how i'm explaining this is how it's coming through so someone does not like sleeping with people like let me just say the word you know escorts so this is someone where, where there is someone that wants to be in an open relationship they like talking to people they like having their options open but this is someone that does not want to date people that could provide them service for sleeping or anything like that for any like pleasurable deeds this is someone that would give with monogamous people so this is someone where they like the chase there is someone where they get with monogamous people because they like to chase. This is somebody where they like that cat and mouse. Um, you know, this person knows, as for instance, if you're monogamous or whatever, this person knows that you're going to make them wait. They know that you're not going to give it up to them very easily, very quickly. So there is someone that likes this cat and mouse or whatever, and they get into relationship with mon monogamous people. They may not know how to be loyal. Um, this can be someone that wants multiple um, significant others or something like that. But this person get in a monogamous relationship and they give people the assumption that that's what they're looking for. So this is what I'm getting here. So y'all got to take a risk or what not. But this person, they like this cat and mouse game or whatever. And they get into, um, so this could be someone that's interested in you. This could be someone that y'all talking to. Only take this reading if it resonates with you. It can even be somebody that y'all dated from the past. You know, take a rest that. But there is someone that's not monogamous. They get into relationship with mon monogamous people because they like that cat and mouse. This person likes the fact that people are not going to give it up. That they have to work for it. Um, this person knows that the people that they're encountering want something deeper or something more serious. And this person knows that they're not trying to provide it, but they come off like they are. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm getting. This person does not want to mess with people that can do the things that they want them to do because they feel like it does not. It, it, it just, they don't want to do that, you know. Um, so let me, get, yeah, we got the six of pentacles. This person can want to give to multiple people. This could be someone that does give to multiple people, or this could be somebody where they're very sloppy, where they will start giving to one person and then they forgot, they forget to give to the other person as well. So this is the kind of person where this is somebody that likes to be valued. This is somebody where they want people to give themselves to them without to giving stuff back. Um, this can also be someone where they do have talked to multiple people or whatever. They end up giving to one person more than to the other person or whatever. And it starts to cause issues in the relationships. Um, this can be somebody where they're being a player, giving to two people. And they're giving more to one person. And they're not giving as much time or energy to the other person because this person is secretly dealing with other people. We got the world card here as well. We got the temperance here. We got the three of pentacles in reverse. We also got the four of wands in reverse. Again, this can even be the kind of person where they would get into a relationship with you and waste it, waste your time. This is the kind of person that would get into a relationship with you and they would build with you and just to waste your time. This is someone where they would get into a relationship with you or whatever the case may be. And they'll waste your time while they're being successful giving to something else. So, um, I'm gonna give you the signs. This don't have to be this person's signs. It could be, but take a person as we have Taurus, we have Sagittarius, and we have Capricorn. We also have Aries. Let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. We got Gemini. We got the lovers. Some of y'all just can't even be somebody that's in a relationship already, and they're not even monogamous in a relationship, and they're trying to give to you 
you know, and they're making it seem like it's going to be successful with you or whatever, and they're going to equally give to you. But this is, yeah, so some of you guys, this is someone that is, this, this could be someone that y'all talking to. We got the page of wands here. So some of you guys, this is someone that's in a relationship. And they're looking at you. They see you as very attractive, very well put together. And this person want to come in, whatever, they want to talk to you, whatever. And this person is going to give you the impression that y'all can have something together this person is going to give you an impression that it's going to be an equal give and take this is what this person is doing so someone's already in a relationship they're not monogamous they cheat in their relationship whatever they do in this relationship they're not loyal to their partner already as it is this person wants to give to you on the side or this person wants to give to you this person is going to give you the assumption that you're going to have something successful where things are going to work out between y'all and this person is really going to waste your time and they're never going to offer you relationships so there is someone that's going as well this is someone where some of you guys it could be someone that leaves home to go sleep with other people or go talk to other people give to other people so this is someone that's already in a relationship and they leave home or leave to go give to other people this person likes attention so whoever this person is this is an attention seeker they like attention they like when people stroke their ego they like when people talk about them this could be somebody that want to show off for people as well or when this person gets dressed, they, they get dressed to impress people. They're looking for validation. So this is somebody where they don't like turning down the attention as well. This could be somebody that has money or they're very successful or they're, they're very stable. Some of y'all, you couldn't have dealt with this person. But some of y'all, I'm getting this person is like already in a relationship. But some of y'all, you could have dated this person. This is what this person was acting like. Some of y'all, this could be an ex or the past. But there is somebody that's in a relationship. They see you. Some of y'all, this person could want to come towards y'all. Others of you, if this person want to come towards y'all, could just be where, again, this is someone that's interested in y'all. Y'all got to take a person leave or does it. Whoever this person is, they say that you're very attractive. You look very good. Some of y'all, you could be younger than this person. You don't have to be. If you're not younger than this person, you look very youthful, very attractive, very well put together. This is somebody that wants to come in and give to you or whatever. This person is going to this person is going to say things that you want to hear. Things are going to be sounding good, going good, right? The person is going to be giving you faith that you found the one. The person is just really going to be wasting your time the whole time. And not only is this person wasting your or w would be wasting your time, this person is going to put you in some type of, somebody's going to put you in some type of situation shit where they're going to tell you what you want to hear. These are going to move very quickly for y'all. Because I get the world card, I get things coming full circle very quickly. So this is not the word things are going to take off for y'all very quickly. Y'all going to be giving to one another, whatever the case may be. And this is where they're going to be wasting your time the whole time. You're going to find out this person's already in a relationship or you're going to find out this person's already connected with other people and this is somebody where they like a lot of attention we have the two of cups reverse neck under right under the temperance this is someone where they don't know how to equally give and take this is someone when they get into relationships with people they don't know how to give themselves the way people give to them this is the kind of person where they will have you cook it for them clean it for them or going out their way to buy them shit and the whole time they doing the same shit with other people. This can even be somebody where they will have you thinking something that y'all do is special and then you realizing they're doing it with everybody else. This is what I'm getting here. We have the four of pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody that's gonna so some of y'all if you fuck with this person, they're gonna waste your time and then they're gonna hold back from you. Some of y'all this is somebody that's in a relationship, but then the moment where you where you try to get into a relationship or the moment you question where things are headed or whatever, this is when this person is gonna start holding back, pulling back from y'all. So y'all are dealing with someone, for ones that are dealing with this person or for the ones that resonate with this, there's someone that's not monogamous. Some of y'all, you are dealing with this person, some of y'all are not. There's someone where they act like they're monogamous and they get into relationship with people and then they end up cheating on the people that they get in a relationship with because they're really not monogamous. They literally, either, either, they, either they really want an open relationship and they're not expressing that to people or this person, um... It's polyamorous. But some of you guys are getting the reason why this person does not express it to people because they know that people are not going. This person knows that there's people that will be open to it, but they like the people that's not. Um, This person has some type of mindset as well. Something about this person's mindset. This would be the kind of person where they, uh, where this could even be the kind of person that has lots of bodies, but they don't want you to have no bodies uh, as well, which don't make any sense. You know, it's kind of retarded. You know, somebody used them, abused. And then they don't want you or whatever. And they more used and abused than you. You damn, they damn near in the lost and found. Been touched on and everything. All over, all over the place by everybody. Like a doorknob. <laughs> oh my God, well, I'm going in on this person. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go in. But the energy that's coming in where this is somebody where they kind of have, 
this is somebody where they hold people to limits and standards that they don't even hold themselves to. Oh, you better graduate even though I didn't. Or, oh, you better make 100K even though I can't. This, 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 this is this individual. And I'm not even trying to cut into them. This is literally how this person acts or this is literally how this person is. This person also feel like their looks is enough. This is somebody where they feel like their looks is enough. They don't have to put much in because their looks is enough. Their looks are going to take them. You should get to them because they look good. This can be a woman where she feel like, I look good, so get to me. Fuck with me. I look good. You know, but what about your character? You know, even if it's a man, I look good. I'm handsome. Well, yeah, but what about your character? What about you as a person? What can you bring to the table? Can I collaborate with you? Can I work with you? Can we come together? Can we build? You know, this is this individual where when you want to start talking about questions like that, this person don't know what to say um but this is this person y'all um again if this is somebody that y'all are in a relationship with or whatever the case may be this could be someone that's wasting your time and they're never going to hold some of y'all you can want this person to, like stop hold back or whatever from doing that or this this could be someone that they're, they're going to continue wasting their time wasting your time in your relationship is going to continue being unhappy because this person likes the attention of other people this person this person likes connecting with people that this is the thing about this person this person goes can even though this person is mon even though this person is not monogamous and they get with monogamous people this person goes talk to people that can't read this this is the thing when you are dealing with someone that goes and messes with people that can't offer you what you are offering them you you, you this you sometimes people literally go ab below standards because that's what they like Sometimes people don't like the full on experience. I'm being 100%, y'all. I've seen it all the time. Like, there can be this energy or an instance where someone can have better with you, but they don't want better for themselves. You know, they kind of like being stuck. They like being where they're at. They're comfortable. Somebody's comfortable in this way that they live. You offering something that they may not get anywhere else, but they're not in the energy to take that or to accept that from other people or whatever right now because of their mindset. This can even be the kind of person where they will go cheat on you or focus somebody that has nowhere near worth that you have. But they're going to go do it anyways because they feel like they don't have a mindset. Or something about this person not having a mindset. This person will go focus somebody that don't have it like you, that's less valuable than you because this person's mindset is set up like that. But with some of y'all, this person is going to start fucking with you. They're going to hold back from you. Y'all going to be in some type of situation shit because this person's already connected to someone else. It's almost like somebody coming in to get attention from you, to give attention to you, have fun and stuff like that, make you think you're going to be something that y'all not, waste your time, then you're going to get into a relationship and this person is going to show you that y'all incompatible. Or this person is going to show you that um you're going to be thinking that you're going to... Some of y'all, this person is going to have you in an impression that y'all are going to get into a relationship and the whole time y'all not going to ever make it to that relationship. Ever. Because this person just telling you what you want to hear. This person's gonna, the person's gonna start. The, yeah, we got the damn, we got the. Oh, it's crazy, y'all. This person's gonna hold back from y'all, and then it's gonna leave y'all in the eight of swords, all up in y'all head, wondering where y'all went wrong, wondering how come you and somebody ain't end up together. What you do? Uh, what you gonna be thinking? Oh, wasn't me? You know, the whole time it wasn't you. This is somebody that's a liar. They say that they're monogamous and they not, and they go get with monogamous people. Or they'll even have a monogamous partner go get with another monogamous person, then leave that monogamous person alone when they wasted their time or whatever. So this is this individual. Um, we got the full card in virtue. This person preying on people that's naive or that's unaware, or they person. The person could try to come off as unaware as well. Or when you ask some questions, they try to dodge the questions, act like they don't know what you're talking about. This is this individual. Oh, we got the King of Pentacles as well. This can be somebody that's very materialistic. They only think about themselves. And again, I'm trying to tell y'all, this person does not like people that would do, this person is not attracted to people that would do anything for money. There's something about them liking people that's, this per. this is somebody where they prey on genuine people. They go out when they prey on genuine people. They do that. Like, this is somebody where they don't like people, they don't want people to purchase stuff or they don't want people to do stuff for their money. They want people that's not going to do it for the, for the money. We got the tower card here as well. We got the seven of cups in reverse. Ooh. And we got the um nine of cups in reverse and the high priestess in reverse. So this is the kind of person where y'all be going, everything will be going good. You will be under the pressure that y'all in a good relationship. All of a sudden, out of the blue, you find out that this person's talking to other people. They're giving to other people. You finding out shit or whatever, right? And you, it's almost like you're having like a reality check. Thinking that you and somebody's in a successful relationship or thinking you and somebody safe or whatever, y'all good, y'all in a good place. And now, and all of a sudden you found out some news that just literally crashed that shit down. 
One minute you thinking that you and this person good, the next minute y'all not together no more because you find out all this information or whatever. Then it's the way that you view this person is shattered because you thought you you thought this person was one way. You find out that they're a whole nother person. This is this individual, and you're gonna realize, oh, I didn't use my intuition. Or you're gonna be beating yourself up for not using your intuition. Or you're gonna be like, oh, I misused my intuition. We got the ten of cups or oh, I misused my intuition. I thought I was gonna have a family with this person. Or I thought me and this person was we had a stable home or a stable family. This is this energy. This is how the yeah we got the moon card after thing in reverse after things are being revealed. This is this person. This is how they operate. They will literally sit there and have you thinking y'all good, y'all straight. Next thing you know, you find out that they talking to other people. All the time you wasn't using your intuition. The whole time you thought you were gonna be having a family with this person or settling down and shit just being revealed about this person being deceptive. Shit being revealed where you don't have no chance but to cut this person off because that shit fucked up yeah and then we got the five of wands here as well you cut this person off then this person gonna try to come in and compromise with you pretend they're gonna fix it just to break your heart all over again with fake ass apology and bread crumbing you again even though you're the empress and or and you, you making you feel overburdened and stuff like that and putting you in a battle or in a cycle of you knowing your work and putting you in a cycle or whatever so this is somebody where you'll cut them off They'll try to, like, um change your mind or whatever just to do the same shit all over again. This is the kind of person where you would tell them what you've been through, and they'll put you through the same shit you've been through. This is literally this type of person. Because I'm seeing the Nine of Wands here. That can even talk about some shit you already been through, and somebody put you right back through that shit. You just got out of a battle, and they put you in a new one. Literally. But the Ace of Swords, because of this person not giving you clarity, um, and, and able to give you clarity, a liar. So this is this person, y'all. So this is this person that y'all dealing with for the ones that you know. I'm gonna give y'all the signs here of this individual. Um, if you're not dealing with this person, this this could just be somebody from y'all past. For some of y'all, this could be the situation that y'all in now. Y'all have to take this how it resonate. But this person is not monogamous. They just coming off like they are. So we have to give you the signs. It could be your sign or this person's sign. Sagittarius. We got Taurus. I'm pretty sure we got all signs here, but I'm gonna give you signs anyway. Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini. Libra, Pisces, Libra, Leo, Aquarius, Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Sagittarius, Gemini, Taurus, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Cancer. So peace, love, and light, beautiful, bigger, and bold. Until next time, babies. If you find this reading resonate with you, check out my other readers that may resonate with you as well. And yeah, if you want my personal readings, that down below in the description box as well as my Patreon. Bye, babes.